Hello again, everyone in the world of internet, and welcome to this. It's a seven days to die little. Uh, look at those letters. It's hard, isn't it? Don't know what that is. Uh, could be because we're encoding as we're recording. Who knows? But I'm not exactly playing a game, am I? So, personally, I don't know what the problem is. Still, anyway, here we are, and um, obviously. Um, that's not the folder, but we're in the uh, Seven Days to Die game directory, and in there is this data folder. And if you go into there, you'll see this config folder. If you go into that, you'll see these uh, um, files, which I've put into date order, uh, mostly just so that I can see which ones I've edited. And in there, you will see certain things. And if you look, for example, here, there's this entity classes XML folder now the reason i'm showing you this is because i'm just going to open it with notepad because you know it's fine it's fine people it is fine uh if we go into this particular folder uh file we will see that in uh, inside here there are certain settings for example which um allow you to change the game now they change the game in certain ways and and uh, again if you remember you'll notice that uh during the game i Sometimes can earn quite a lot of points for killing one of these zombies. You know, well, well, for, I've enhanced the point system um, only because, again, if if like me, you've you've restarted the game countless times, you do get to a point where, when you're restarting the game countless times, it's just like you know, ugh. Uh, and you can obviously you can just give yourself XP points um, if you wanted to, but then that that you know all of that just feels like it's cheating a bit, and so. We enhanced the uh, XP points that you can get. They're, they're called experience. There it is. Look, experience gain, and this is what <clears throat> this is what we're looking for. So, uh, this value here, experience gain value, and you can see there uh, is the figure. Uh, what I would have done there is just put a one in front of it. Um, I don't know what that is, but uh, this is all you would do. I'm not going to do um, an actual one right now because I've already done it. But let's just copy that now. If you're in notepad you can press ctrl and f which is find and then just paste experience you can find the next one there's the one we just found and if we keep going you will see um all the different values so for example here we are with the zombie white feral uh and he gives you a thousand he's in a he's a strong feral he only gives you a thousand so you know it just seems to be unreasonable sometimes the radiated uh white zombie there 1250 these these may well be the default settings um obviously here you can see uh there's this a massive 8982 this is for something called the zombie beam i'm not too sure if that's the big uh, boar kind of animal uh but i figured if that's the case and it is that animal then it surely is worth 8982 points so i obviously increased it to that and then, as you can see, we've got um, 1,700 for these. You'll see the names as it comes up. And you can just change them. I've, I've, I think all I did was add 1,000 to each one. Um, for the most part, I'm just going to skip through them now and just see that that is just 1,000. So that's if it's 1,000, I guess I've just left it. It's interesting, though, isn't it? Uh, I don't know why. I thought I'd just show you that. Um, because, you know, if you are playing the game, then you might be of... Uh, a mind to ask uh do you know exactly what uh, that is uh, in fact why we are here i'm just thinking if we can find here we are look at animals animals um if we could perhaps find stag and then is there a bone count because that's what i'm now curious look there's your gain for hitting a, a stag 327 i'm gonna just leave that because i don't want to go crazy but look ha ha okay look you get three um and then one all to butcher harvest i'm going to change that to three uh bones are a thing at the moment well this is great isn't it so um do you think that it will just refer to that. I think it will. Yes, it will. Okay, so I'm going to change these to three. Um, the reason I'm changing them to three is because I just feel 
like we ought to get a bit more bonage. Uh, and the reason for that is because we're gonna we were in a position in the game where we could do with making some glue. Um, I'm not. This is. I'm only changing. If I. I mean, to be fair, uh, if you're using the the actual correct toolage, you already get a good uh, thing there. But it just says all tools harvest. I'm curious what's a butcher harvest consists of, because to be fair, I don't entirely know. So, uh, at worst, we're we're just making it so that if I'm using the wrong tool, I at least get three instead of one. So it's nothing major. I'm not ruining the game there. Uh, arguably, the um, the boost in XP could be uh, considered to be arguably ruining the game. It's not, though. It's just, like I said, we're just getting to where we're going a little bit quicker. But we still have to play the game. I've not really... Uh, I don't think that counts as cheating. But then, of course, that's me being the optimist. See, look at that. What's this? If you kill an animal boss grace, you can get up to ten. Well, we get five on this one, my dear. Right, that's it. We've done it. So there you go. So we've gone through, um, and we've enhanced the bone count. So that's nice. Um, you can see there, you've actually got. Uh, I mean, look at this. Look at this. Jeez, Louise, on this uh, boss grace experience gain a thousand meat a hundred. Well. Wow, and obviously in here we can. Uh, well, let's have a look. There's the um, let's find the next uh, animal boar. So these are the boars themselves, and if you have a look, you should see somewhere on here the harvest count, if you like. For I'm not seeing it though. Not seeing the harvest. Okay, it's making. It's now making me look a liar, isn't it? Okay, forget the animal boar. Maybe there's another one. Snakes. Well, it matters. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Anyway, uh, so the, interesting, isn't it? So there are all the settings for the entity class. So we've updated. They're going to save them. Um, recipes is another one we can have a quick look at because often or not, when you're playing the game, uh, sometimes you like to, you know, cook some food. And it's within this section where if you fancy to, uh, you know. Just changing some of the rest. So, for example, in the game, I have changed uh, when you're making a bacon and egg. Um, is it bacon and eggs? It's bacon and eggs. You now only need one piece of meat and two eggs. You know, I know it sounds stupid, but in the game, you needed five. I think it was five pieces of meat. Well, that's no good, is it? Five pieces of meat for a bit of bacon. So. We change that because obviously one bit of meat would give you way more bacon than than that. Yeah, I know it sounds stuffed, but we fixed it. And so if you go through here, um, you can see I'm. Um, this is not the. This is recipes for everything. So you know, if you want to make, uh, look. If you want to make a dart trap, then you'll need uh, twenty bits of forged iron, six mechanical parts, and four electrical parts. And so obviously we're, we're here. We can literally change all of that to whatever we like, and the game, yeah, amazingly, would uh, would would then be like that. So that's quite exciting. Uh, you can see there's a, quite a lot of stuff. I mean, for example, if you want to drink uh, a jar of boiled water, you'll need some. Uh, one of the ways to make this is um, a snowball and an empty tin. Or an empty glass jar, say. So uh, it's, it's good, isn't it? So anyway, that's uh, if you can, so recipes for literally everything in the game as it happens, and there may be a few that have been uh, blanked out. But we were looking at the food. Here we go. We look, food, and there we are. So we can see there's the bacon and eggs, and so I changed it. So it's two eggs, one meat. It's great. And if we go down, you can see, like, for example, if you want to make a, a baked potato, obviously you're just going to need one potato aren't you now i think that's actually how it is in the game but you know it's these little things you're gonna make a, a blueberry pie uh well that seems like a reasonable thing you're gonna need five i mean i'm not saying the recipes are all wrong i'm just saying what you could do is you can enhance them you can get rid of something if you want i mean for example what's this make a, a food can ham so i guess this is making a can of uh what's it called sham or something like that and for whatever reason i mean looking at that recipe there to make a can of sham, you need a, a bone. 
you know what I mean? That's like a... I don't understand it. So we, we could. We could just delete that. And it just seems really odd, doesn't it? That you'd need a bone to make ham. Anyway, anyway uh, if anything, wouldn't you rather have... Uh, couldn't you just use meat? You see, we could change that, couldn't we? I tell you what, we're going to do a little experiment. We're going to change, copy that, and we're going to make, instead of using a femur, which is a bit of a weird one, we're going to change it to meat. So now, uh, to make a can of ham, oh, I see, we've got rotten flesh. Shit, I don't want to, well, should we kill? Let's get rid of the rotten flesh then. So we're going to get rid of the rotten flesh, and we're going to make some fresh ham, which is healthy. Nice. Um, I'll leave that space there because, you know, I could regret doing that. Um, a food, charred meat, raw meat. So check. I'm, I'm not in here to change it. I'm really just showing you. But it's quite fascinating, isn't it, really? You know, uh, a boiled egg. You'll need one egg, one water. So if you um, if you do play the game and you like that, the recipes for cooking food, sometimes you might be like, I don't know about that. Then, you know, why not think, well, I, I'll just change it. So if, here we go. Look, a hobo stew requires five bits of rotten flesh, two potatoes, two corn, one water, and some animal fat. But, you know, don't get me wrong. Um, you know, you're only making one dish. So let's change that to one. Uh, a meat stew. Uh, I reasoned, I think that's a fair enough you would do that. Well, again, even then, you know, you'd use, you wouldn't use, like, two. I'm just going to change it to one. I'm sorry. I'm changing it to one. Okay, mouldy bread. Um, you can make that with ten. See, why would you need ten bits of mouldy bread? Uh, ten sandwiches would only create one mouldy bread. So let's just change it to five. You know, again, I'm only doing it. I mean, I, I wasn't doing this on... We're here now, though, aren't we? So uh, you get the gist of what we're doing. It's quite interesting, isn't it, really? And again, now I think we've left that. So now we're into the world of, of, of other things. It's not. It's gone off the food. So if there's a recipe for something that you either think there's a, an error with it or you just think, you know, it's a real burden, like, uh, I, I can't, let's find something that really is just a burden, you know, and you just think, oh, God, that's really no idea how to make that. Um, I can't think of anything. But first aid medical kit. Now, this is quite interesting because, uh, in fact, the, a good question would be how to make a medical blood bag. Now, you see, you can't seemingly make a blood bag. That's This is the thing that's been doing my head in, really. Um, so, uh, that just made it. so I can't make a first aid kit. I'm not going to change it, but, you know, it's interesting, isn't it? Because, uh, you know, if we, if we did get rid of that, you could arguably then make a proper thing. So, where do you get the blood? Oh, I suppose you're going to have to go to that hospital. Shit. That's like a big job, that. That's a very big job. You know, I'm not a big fan of that. Anyway, we'll have to do that. I can get some blood bags, I guess. Um, that's nice. So, so I think we're going to leave these settings here now because we've changed them. And God knows, save that. Good job I'm recording it, just in case. Um, what else? Well, you can see there are other things. Uh, the blocks, don't think we've messed about with them. Items. We'll just have a look now, we're here, shall we, and just see if there's anything else. We'll go into items. Using Notepad, you can download different Notepads. I just use Notepad because it works absolutely fine. I mean, we're not doing anything fancy. Um, don't really know what I'm looking at here. This is the items folder. We're just gonna I'm gonna shoot down it and then just see. Don't think this possibly has been modified. I just have the problem is you can even tell what you've done. I do believe this is uh, uh hello. Oh there is a there is a blood draw kit. Yes, I just saw it. Where was that? First aid kit. First aid bandage. Bandage. Hello, Vera. Hello, Vera. Um. Here we go. I guess you can, you can make it. You can make it. Uh, it's, it's, I'm just looking because uh, if I if, well, if you can do 
Check it out. That's pretty good. Is that even in the game still? Medical blood bag. Okay, actually, well, now this is interesting because in theory, um, there should be a. Mm, it's not though. Hold type three. Uh, it's usually somewhere in here is the option sellable to trade. You can't sell the blood banks to the trader. Craft, skill, science. Okay. Bugger. Oh, never mind. Usually, uh, and it may not be in this this particular thing, is it an option to increase the, uh, the, the likelihood of finding something. But unfortunately, blood bags appear to be something that... Uh, don't have that option. So let's go to that. Um, think. Oh, loot. Ah, right. I think we. There we go. So open it with. Uh, uh, now I'm going to press Control and F. I just type the word blood because that should take me to blood bag. It didn't, but still. Uh, hello. Um, rare medicine count. So. Mm, bugger. Okay, well, let's just see if there are any other references. Here we go. Lab equipment. Uh, we can change that to nine. So we've got, we're just increasing it by three times, I think, is where we're going for the blood. In fact, I didn't want the blood. Damn it, I want, I want the blood back. Shit, right, let's pull that back to three, five. Can you see... The blood bag. It's a medical drawer kit. I cannot see a blood bag. That's vaguely annoying, isn't it? I'll just keep going and find the next one. Oh, there isn't one. <sighs> well, okay. Well, in that case, increase that back to nine then. How odd. Find the next. Go up. Medical blood bag. It seems to be our only medical count. And then one medicine. Oh, I see. This is the group name. Is is right? Okay. Medical blood bag. So theoretically, you've got more chance of finding. It's not very exciting, this bit, is it? I'm sorry. I'm just trying to. I was just trying to figure it out. Let's get rid of that because uh, I don't even know what I did. I don't even know what I did. Uh, I think that's it. Materials, quests. We can we could potentially edit the quests. I guess in there, traders. Uh, I think we've done pretty well uh, there. Some of this stuff, you don't. Know, you just who knows what it is really. Uh, game stages. You can change uh, the, the 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 amount of baddies that come on um, and do stuff to you. You know, spawning does something. Quality info. Um, but I do believe, I do believe that that's it. So, there you go. That's a little video. Just not really showing you how to do it. But if you did want to enhance um, your uh, XP. So, if like like me, perhaps you're, you're just, I've done it. I can't keep doing it. You say to yourself, I just can't. I just can't keep doing it. I can't keep starting from the beginning. Every time they do an update. So if you are like me and you're in that position, then why not enhance the uh, experience gain in this file? Uh, just you don't have to do it a lot, but it does make the game just that bit more. You know, it gives you a little bit more boost, a bit of a leg up, say. Uh, you know, to get to where you want to be, and you're still playing the game. You don't have to go crazy. I went with a pretty much just took a thousand in front of everything, didn't I? So essentially, I just doubled it. So I just have to do half as much work when it comes to killing zombies but uh, even that saying that ever since the update the building xp points do seem to come relatively fast so they did update that uh, and so if you're just building stuff you will actually get those xp points the xp points though are pretty handy so uh, that's it anyway take it easy out there and good bye